Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna Nicole. As you can tell by the title in today's video, I will just be showing you all some super easy ways to style denim jean jackets and I will also be throwing in some layering in there. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned and let's get into the video. So throughout the video, I'll just be sticking to two pair of jeans, just these high-waisted black jeans and some high-waisted light wash jeans just to keep things simple. So this first outfit I'm wearing is a gray sweater with these high-waisted black jeans. This is just a nice turtleneck that I thought would be really, really cute with this jean jacket. The jean jacket I'm wearing is a light wash jacket that has a bit of distressing on it. For styling purposes, I decided to fold the bottom of the sweater over the cuffs of the jacket. I just think that makes the outfit look more complete, like the jacket is actually a part of the outfit and not just something I have on because it's cold. I also thought it would be super cute to throw on the scarf as well and I love the way this all looks together. Next, I was going for a more comfy casual look. So here I have on a cream fluffy jacket under a darker wash denim jean jacket. Also, I tucked the front of the cream jacket in to really highlight the jean jacket. And so it doesn't look like there's too much going on. I also again folded the bottoms of the fluffy jacket sleeves over the cuffs of the denim jacket for styling purposes. And I think this created the perfect casual outfit. I also threw on a scarf with this outfit as well just because I felt like it needed something to complement the two colors and I definitely think it brought the entire look together. Next I have on the light wash denim jean jacket again and this time under it I have on a graphic t-shirt. You literally can't go wrong with a graphic t-shirt. I paired these two together because the denim jacket is again light wash and I thought it would contrast really really well with the black graphic tee. The graphic tee also has a bit of distressing on it like the denim jacket and the jeans I have on so there's distressing all over the place and I really thought this outfit would look good together. I also tied the front of the t-shirt just for styling purposes and the sleeves of the denim jacket are rolled as well. I I threw on the white scarf with this just because I thought the white scarf would look best and not overpower the outfit and I was right. I like the way all of this came together. This is just a really another simple comfy and casual outfit. And next I have on a multi-wash denim jacket this time. As you can see, the jacket has dark wash, medium wash, and light wash patches all over it. And I just really love that detail about it. It also has a much shorter crop than the other denim jackets. With this denim jacket, I love pulling off a denim on denim look. So I am wearing high-waisted light blue denim jeans. And I thought for a bit of simplicity, I would throw on a black turtleneck. I absolutely love this look. Honestly, it's so simple and so easy. I also decided to throw on a white scarf with this outfit. I feel like the white scarf really ties in the outfit, especially with the light wash and almost white patches on the denim jacket. Next is another super cute and cozy look. I absolutely love this fluffy jacket that's under the denim jacket because it really reminds me of fall. It's this really nice burnt orange color and again, super cozy. And just like with the cream jacket, I paired it under the denim jacket and I took the sleeves of the fluffy jacket and rolled it over the cuffs of the denim jacket just to make sure the denim jacket is actually a part of the outfit. I think this provides a super cozy casual look to this outfit and it really ties well. Also, if you look closely, the denim jacket has a hint of orange in the details so this fluffy jacket really looks nice with it. Next, I was going for a more brunch look rather than your comfy cozy casual. I have on a black bodysuit that I paired under this distressed denim jacket. I already knew this outfit would look really cute just because I see it all over the place on Pinterest. If not with a black bodysuit, then black biker shorts with a black tank top or something similar. And again, I was looking for the perfect contrast between the black bodysuit and the light washed denim jacket and I thought this would look really, really nice together. For detailing purposes, I decided to throw on the orange plaid scarf and this is honestly so, so cute. This is probably my favorite in the video. Next, I'm just wearing this burnt orange mock neck that I tucked into the black high-waisted jeans and I decided to wear the light wash distressed denim jacket with it. And again, I really like the light wash denim jacket with the sweater because of the minimal orange detail that's actually in the jacket. 
So the sweater and the jacket really complement each other. I also love the way mock necks and turtlenecks look with denim jackets, simply because I think it really gives denim jackets a more dressed up look than you would typically get like with the casual outfits. Again, with this outfit, the white scarf was the obvious choice. This outfit is just super cute and it's literally perfect for fall. And last but not least, you all know I had to show you another comfy way to style this denim jacket. I'm always looking for new ways to be comfortable while still looking cute. So of course, I am wearing another hoodie that actually has matching biker shorts. They are in this nice gray color and I paired this light wash denim jacket with this outfit. This is definitely a more simple, casual, going out to run errands outfit. Just something that I will probably wear my white Air Forces with. And I actually couldn't tell if the light wash denim jacket looked better with this or the darker wash jacket. I figured the darker wash would look better because the gray in the outfit would complement the darker jacket, but I wasn't exactly sure with this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. But yeah, that concludes this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all right back here next time with another video. Bye guys.